there's going to be any kind of revolution, if there's going to be any kind of um, disruption, it's, it's not going to come immediately from the line. It's going to come from the poets. That was way too much. Oh my god, it's like dripping. <sighs> much too much. I hope I'm healthy because I just blew all of my tyrias all over it. So I'm going to the post office for some shipments. A sticky quarter, perfect. Hopefully that'll work. And it's Wednesday. Girl. But anyway, I've been thinking a lot about doing Bloodshed Press. That's been like the fucking thing in my head right now, man. And I can't get it out. And a few things have come to mind because of this. And I think a lot of it has to do with how modern American society views poets. And I think if there is going to be any kind of revolution, if there's going to be any kind of um, disruption, it's, it's not going to come immediately from the line it's going to come from the poets and that kind of makes me a bit sick thinking about it like that like knowing that the line probably isn't enough right now I think it will be and I think when um like the future looks back at this, it will be. But um, I think right now, uh, some things need to happen. Okay, there's a spot right here. And I'll nab it, and it's green. Holla. Today is the first. So the new blood rag's gonna be coming out. I need to find out where all of the paper products are that I ordered for the new chapbook. That's another thing I keep going back and forth on. Will bloodshed products be carried on Amazon? I see pros and cons to it. And I should probably just do a whole video on that. Yesterday I was thinking about um, how it's technically better business to buy a struggling small press than to start my own from scratch. And so I was thinking about it. I'm like, do I want to do that? Like, I wonder like what kind of debts a lot of these things would have, but also I wonder what kind of um, distribution chain they have. That might be fucking worth it just for that alone. How much time is left on this? Eight minutes? I think I can get in and out in eight minutes. Let's see. time to spare. Oh, there's a spot right there, and I will take it. Ah, uh, hello 
still friends, if we are friends. I'm having kind of a hard time right now, and I will tell you why. I am, hopefully I will be able to have it finished today, but I'm in the process of um, putting together my February chapbook, which is called Poems About Effing. Um, it's called The Other Thing, but I'm trying to make YouTube not strike every video I make. Anyway, so I've had this idea to do this book for years, like since before uh, Pharma Phoenix Rises. I was going through some of the poems that I had set aside for it. I just, they're not great. Some of them are amazing. And I think not only have a sense of eroticism to them, but also, like, at the end of it, make you go, like, and think and try to, like, kind of change your mindset on a certain topic kind of thing. Whereas others are just, like, exactly what the title of the book says, Poems About Effing. It's like sex and that's like it and it's not that there's anything wrong with those and I think in a bigger book I feel like they would be good and have their place but in a book that's very small like I'm just wondering like are any of these like should I have these even in here? The thing that's really funny about it is you you kind of go back and forth. Um, and if you're new to poetry, you'll see this as you go. But you go back and forth between noticing how much your style has changed over the course of time. I guess kind of how it's not, how it's not changing. But these little things will pop up in you. And since some of these poems are like, uh, God, how many, four years old now? Some of them, I just, I don't know. I feel like I had a large section of poems like a large number of poems that I wanted to put into this book. And now I have a small handful. And it's funny too, because some of the poems I could tell I was super fucking drunk as fuck when I wrote them. And I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> like, it, it's just drunken ramblings and there's a place for those you know and honestly maybe it's because like I haven't had a drink in two days that when I'm looking at the poems I wrote when I was fucking a couple bottles in I'm like I don't know if this is strong enough you know it's so funny because like honestly I'm probably just being a little too hard on myself because I got the cardstock that I'm going to be using for the covers of this book and it's amazing. And I'm crossing my fingers that printing this cardstock will work. I have a feeling that it might be tricky. So um, I'm a little I'm a little worried about that. But I think it'll be okay. And this book is just going to look amazing. Like as a chat book, this is going to be like the coolest looking chat book I've ever made. So I think that has kind of blurred my, like what I want this book to be. So I'm like being a little harder on it than I would normally be. I think what I want is the poems to just mean a little more. Maybe I'll put like one or two of the just completely like no meaning poems in there there's 
three poems that I could think of off the top of my head right now that I actually had slated for different books that I think I'm going to put in this one because they mean more. Okay. So yeah, I think I'm going to do that. See how that goes. I'll have to go through it again. Uh, I think right now I'm at 11 poems, but a lot of my older stuff is a lot longer than my newer stuff. The number of poems really doesn't matter. And again, it's not even word count. It's how I was laying poems on the page and page breaks. Not page breaks, but line breaks and stanza breaks. Um, I think, like, if you look at the majority of my work, you can see it, it's like evolution. Like, if you, like, had all the poems written from this day to this day, like, over the course of years, you could probably see, like, the evolution of how line breaks work on a page for me. The other thing that's funny is that you can see how old a poem is of mine based on what font I typed it in, by um, how I use capital letters, by how I use punctuation. Like, if I see a poem that has a bunch of periods in it, I'm like, oh, this is um, 2019, early 2020. You know what I'm saying? It, it cracks me up. But I don't know, maybe I'll start using punctuation again. Maybe I'll start using periods. I was thinking about using periods the other day because I feel like if some people read my poems the way they're written, like as they probably read it out loud more so than just read it on the page, I feel like they would run into lines funny. I don't know. Like I always used line breaks and stanza breaks is punctuation. And I know that sounds silly, but when you have line breaks, there are pauses, certain breath pauses, you know? So, like, I think there was a, in uh, Poetic Anarchy, there was a video about line breaks. I think there was. I don't know. Um, so there's that. The other news is that um, I'm going to be hosting an open mic night and I guess we're calling it Poetic Anarchy with Matt Wall is how they're calling it. But it's through um, the the Word is Right, um, which is a pretty big community of poets and um, open mic, different kinds of open mic nights. Um, there's poetry open mic nights, erotica open mic nights, um, karaoke open mic nights um music open mic nights um watching movie open mic nights i know it sounds stupid when i say open mic nights after i say watch a movie but i don't i don't know what else to call them but i had a um little sit down with them yesterday and kind of worked out a bunch of shit so that'll be interesting so the first one of those will be, I'm looking for my calendar and I moved it. I can't remember where I put it. Um, February 16th. Um, it's a Thursday and I think it'll be at four o'clock Pacific time, seven o'clock Eastern. So, um, and I'm going to try to do something a little different. I got to figure out exactly how to do that, but we'll figure it out. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.